what's up guys this is the brave man and i am back to bring you to the next episode of my napoleon total war 3 let's play as the swedish empire and to, and to pick up where we left off I, I think we're about to start war with russia because lemberg is ripe for the taking easily Konigsberg is vulnerable with no troops as far as i can see nearby which means we can push up to about here take the city maybe push up to that bridge there to block off any reinforcements from Courland. and obviously we've got well, this massive opportunity to blitz in the north so i think this is going to happen but actually first of all i want to check yeah i got a little navy I was wondering, did I... Well, I mean, I've got two strong navies, that's fine. Let's do this slowly. We find the luxury with you. We find the trade with you. It's an unnecessary luxury. Yeah, we're not as, not as bad as this, matey boy. And they seem to be dead happy with the idea of fighting us. So, blitz, blitz, blitz. St. Petersburg has fortifications. Novgorod will not. So I can demand the surrender of Novgorod. Oh, it does have fortifications. I'm a dummy. You race down to this position here. You push. You push down to here. To block any reinforcements from Moscow. I remember you, Dragoon. Just hold. So the War of Russia has started. Finvald Samuelson. Just hold on to it for now. We are going to fight these battles. I'm just getting ready. So Mr. Lundberg. Actually, I think I still like that position for you. I want you to try and get to that bridge. You men push up to the centre-ish. You men push here nearby Lemberg. Well, I suppose I want Mr. Langre to attack Lemberg. Oh no, I'll have Mr. Crook attack Lemberg. Ooh, we're bringing in... Oh, we are calling in. This force is reinforcement. That's good. Yeah, so suddenly... Driving through to the south... Form up to the south. Mr. Zettisberg, embark your army and land off the coast of Odessa. You men come back to Burgas. You, you guys fundamentally have to sit here for a while to pacify Istanbul, but apart from that, that's a lot of battles to sort out. We're taking Lemberg, Konigsberg, we've taken Novgorod, and we're also going to fight... Actually, I might just wait for them to siege them out here at St. Petersburg. So let's go for Finjold Samuelson and attack Abram Kersonsev and Valery Romanovros. In Konigsberg. We must take this border city. And we are aware that the... We are aware that there are going to be... Many, many, many... Russian armies marching towards us. So I really need to drive out from the south quickly. Because my northern front now is the weakest. Because to the south I've got five or six armies. 
City battles are dangerous. They are very dangerous. I mean, I'll screen the city with a few units, but I don't really want to fight in it. Because every time I've tried city battles in this game, it's gone badly wrong really quickly. She might put my guns in the line. Bulk of my cavalry on the open ground. Keep some lifeguards nearby. But yeah, I don't want to fight in the city. That's a bad idea. Send these guys out wide because they're going to push the, and threaten the enemy flank. So your job is going to be to push and you guys just need to screen the town. Where's my other heart, sir? There it is. I can't do much more than cautiously advance. We know they're going to be about here because they've got this defensive position put down. There's the general. I mean, that's a pretty cool looking general's unit. I think it's better than mine. Yeah, it's better than mine. I suppose realistically I need my cavalry out. Well, my light cavalry should be the ones doing the scouting. You know, I mustn't forget, my guys are hidden too. My light infantry are able to get much more of a march on than my regular infantry. That's for darn sure. Very well. If you guys want to try it, a light horse. It's a bit disconcerting. There we go. Now we're starting to see him. See, now my 12s are going to be in a good, a, a relatively good position. And they're re trying to redeploy. They're not going to have much of a choice. Just a second, everyone, the doorbell's just gone. Well, I'm back. Right. Let's march you guys up into the into the line. Leave a foot guard unit to cover blank. I mean, I might push my guns up just a little bit more. All they're doing is reforming their line. If my howitzers can't shoot, then they will move up as well. Ah, they're shooting. It's the light foot coming up.
Fill off pounders and make ready. How it says unnumber. A glorious victory Barrage. is soon to be yours. Oh, here a cavalry charge. There, right, it's just the general. Light horse hit the partisans. Square has been formed. They're coming in with a bayonet charge. They are coming on with a bayonet charge. Gunners. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. Form your ranks. Push my cavalry in. I need to wrap around this flank, rookie tick. Barrage! My general's up here. You men both charge the 24th. Excellent. You men push up. We might get a decent little surround here. Maybe you've made them fall back. Form line. Here comes the enemy cavalry. Run the gunners back. Chase them off the field. We have killed their generals up. Now they must break. They've been absolutely routed. That's just beautiful. There they go. One unit that's still alive and kicking. He's in the middle. Oh, my howitzers are doing some damage. Absolute carnage. Everyone just bayonet charge and get in, I suppose. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. There's only a couple of units left on the field, so you got this unit of militia. down by my partisan by my cavalry and then there's one 
unit left here in the town. Another regiment of militia. So they're there being like, okay, let's resist for the motherland. And all this is coming your way. Not only your own comrades, the Russi Deutsch Legion. Get my general over here quickly. But the 10th Grenadiers are on their way. Sword raised. Yep, the Grenadiers will have their pound of flesh. As will the Finns. Excellent. Attempted the bayonet charge, but it just got completely enveloped, and that was that. Nice. All, always peacefully occupied. We don't need the money. You push up to this bridge, because that blocks off Corland. I'm curious as to if you guys can... I mean, you can. You can just blitz straight through and take this bridge. And this spy can advance up to Vilnius. Excellent. Some reinforcements here. You need to be a bit careful. You're all replenishing. Looks like we're going to siege St. Petersburg. But then we are probably going to take Mr. Crook. And attack the enemy here. Because we're going to be first destroying a fairly generic garrison force. But then it's the reinforcements that are actually going to be decent. Wherever possible, fight downhill. Whoever's higher has a great advantage. He's got that right, man. <laughs> Jesus. Right. Benedict Bayek and Daniel Malkov. Got a lot of cavalry in this force. Form our line from which to advance. Put some guns in the middle. Ish. Again, try and stay away from the town. We have some light infantry to screen it, but I'm not going to do much else in terms of terrain. I suppose I'd like to be up here. But we are on the offensive, and they won't necessarily let us get away with that. My twelves can... Oh. My twelves can probably be back here. My howitzers will need to follow the main line. That's a really annoying direction for reinforcements to come in from. In which case, let us advance to something like here. Just a fairly swift redeploy. we got time. Speed up time, speaking of having time. So my 12s can be up on this high ground over here. It's funny because I'd, I'd, I'd not long been looking over here being like, this is a nice piece of ground. They're, they're going to advance towards me. That's actually very useful because we should be deployed before their infantry get here. Cavalry might be a bit awkward. Dragoony, brackets, bulk. If they attempt to intercept us early with their cavalry, we 
we will be able to do something about it. So let's just let things progress. They can't make up their minds precisely what it is they want to do. I just want my 12s up on this higher ground. Then I can start my advance. Because it looks like they are falling back. In which case then... Ultimately I am happy with this state of affairs because it means that I don't have to fight with enemy reinforcements on my flank. Oh, I hear a cavalry charge. But you mostly got partisans and other such rubbish. Commit some of my cavalry in to try and defeat this enemy cavalry. Don't run them though, just to keep them a bit fresher. That's a lot of a lot of troops, and that's a 12 pound fancy artillery battery. Ah oh, no, sorry, how it's a push up. 12 pounder you can stay back. You guys need to push around those explosives. See, it looks impressive, but it's all chaff. Yejeria Ruta. run you guys all my guns up because I'll just absolutely pound this formation to slurry you guys are ready to open up so there's an inf enemy infantry unit grenadiers plus artillery Yeah, once my once my guns are in position, we'll blast them. Oh, it's is away. So you guys to take out. To yeah, don't aid the mine. Didn't do any damage.
Form square, damn it. Six pounders. Open fire. Oof. Big oof. Champs run over here. Ignore the grenadiers. Oh, the blast against a short range. Our men are running for How oh, it's just from somewhere. Pop the pop the support. No, General, don't get involved. You men form square on the flank. Right, that's horse guards, actually, so that's... No, General. Stay out of the fight. General, stay out of the fight! Stay out of the fight! <laughs> Our men are running for this ain't gonna go quite so to plan. Question is how many who breaks first? Get the general over here rapidly. The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest a while. I don't give a damn. Okay, good. It looks like. It looks like we. Broke their line. Let's get our infantry to form up against these grenadiers. At least this infantry is actually in good shape. Get my cavalry to attack the guns. My infantry just form up. We're going to lose a couple of guys to these stakes to the rear. Just charge through the stakes. The Don't come back on yourself. Nope. Oh, it says deploy there. 12 pounders engaged. That Grenadier Regiment. This howitzer unit. Unlimber. Yeah, cavalry's routed. Cause it, naturally because of stakes. And they, they're lots more are going to die because they're routing through the stakes. New Man Storm, a 30th Regiment. Let's maybe get my dragoons through the gap. Okay, you're going to hopefully charge my square formation and we're going to bravely hold you off once more.
Lances and horse guards. This is a the horse guard unit. You're exhausted. That's why you can't do any good. Now it's advanced. General push up. Keep advancing. Do not come back. New men can push up to be my reserve. Pushed back another enemy cavalry unit. So now this Finska unit can advance up also with my reserve. No, don't do that. You will definitely rout. We just need to work our way around. Cow, yeah, the cavalry just needs to form up and regain some of its strength. We do have a little core of enemy units actually there holding. Local partisans, local partisans, other guys. Do some damage to these grenadiers. Oh, you guys have come back. Super good. You men form a line. There. You men come back. Cavalry. Don't charge because you're exhausted, which means you're going to be real slow. 12 pounders engage the partisans. Barrage. Just get... Where's the other general? Where is you? You get over here and help these men. Because they're going to... Advance and push away... These remaining holdouts. The lancers may advance, but that's okay. We've got cavalry nearby and we can hold. Put Jaeger over here. Because my sixes can advance to form the centre of a new line. Okay. So we've pushed them back over here. Push you guys forward, try and chase away the cavalry. The in Delta, just get them back here in general, around the mine. The men of fatigue, sir, I must rest a while. See, they're feeling better once they get involved into a bit of a scrap. Focus on the foot guardsmen. These guys advance just so quick. 
You're very tired. You're probably going to be exhausted immediately. Keep my general close. can drop a rally when things when it's timed best okay there we go that regiment of militias gonna get chewed up well, I've got regiment and militia push the flank You guys get out of square, form an anchor here. Push my cavalry up to the top of the hill. Do something like this. You guys can get up on top of the hill because here comes the enemy actual infantry. Six pounders can kind of limber. Maybe push up just a little bit more. To make sure the guns are in the right position. Yep, light foot grenadiers, grenadiers. Unlimber, get your canister flying. Twelve pound a barrage from range. These unit cavalry units are actually both winded, so they're not in terrible shape. If we are forced to charge. Sir, your general has been killed. Oh, it was the mine. Day. Oh, it was the mine. Ah well. <laughs> I mean, I knew it was there. I don't know why I didn't take more care, but... Well, I knew why I didn't take more care. Charge the seventh light foot, because it's the light foot. This is only the light foot. And we are heavy cavalry. <laughs> Here comes Grenadier, Regiment of Foot, Regiment of Foot. Horse Guard unit is way at the back. Withdraw the cavalry. So my 12s are now out of range, so they're going to advance up to somewhere up on this hill. To push my 6s up, straighten out this line.
Actually, my twirls might be better at home up here. If they, if they ever get there to be useful. The general staff unit is still here. You men just withdraw. Hey, infantry. Push the left if you can. But guards gonna get a good volley in at point blank range. My, gu my, <laughs> my guns are dangerously close. I'm hoping I can overwhelm them with musket fire. I mean, if they don't... <laughs> I got one guy. Withdraw the cavalry, because they've knocked out the 49th regiment. Keep manoeuvring, keep advancing. See these units, uh, they are getting their energy back. Excellent. A heavy cavalry unit in good fettle. Yeah, you chaps hold. We've got more infantry moving up. On the left, you should be fine. I could probably do something more like that. Twelves are slowly snaking their way across the battlefield. But they won't ever really get there in time. I think we are just devolving into a gen more generic infantry battle of fire and manoeuvre, so my guns might just stay to the rear on the high ground. Come on, my foot Jaeger. Your light infantry at close range, you should be lethal. Bring my eh, this cavalry's fresh. Well not hold on, not the bull unit. Eh, casualty is sustained. The 
they should be really quite upset because they're being attacked from the rear. And they're advancing into my musket fire. And again, so is my cavalry. go we are defeating them as they advance you guys might need to make a blitz out on the left flank although that's a bit dodgy because they've got enemy cavalry in support but it's because we're starting to get a bulk of our infantry on this flank how it's needs to unlimber Got my horse guards to go after the 54th regiment. And my actual artillery is just not going to catch up. Our men are running, sir. Yeah, that's fair enough. You guys should beat the 54th. You might need a bit of help down the line. But it's difficult to ignore the fact that we are just repeatedly hammering them back. That's, oh, my cavalry on the left is gone, so my infantry form a defensive line here. You men withdraw. Our men are running. Sir. That's a pity. All oh, my cavalry gone. Go on, twenty fifth foot guards. Fire it will on. I just need my infantry in a position to do something. Should get some more cavalry though coming in as reinforcements. They're exhausted. My guys are. St well, they're very tired. Oh, it's a uh, unlimber. They're advancing very close. I'm aware of this infantry push, so you guys actually probably want to do something like this. The cavalry came back, here's some more cavalry. General needs to be on the left. Attack ground more than anything. You men counter charge. Let's see if we can shatter this Russian bayonet charge, which we have. Advance here. These men have been shattered, so advance up. Ah, to hell with it. You guys go after the light foot. Let's assume that with this cavalry in support. We can wipe out these infantry units here. Re 
re-limber my artillery. The men of fatigue, sir, I don't give away. a damn. The battle must be won. Kill a few more of them. I know you're wavering. Okay, maybe withdraw you back. Our men are running, sir. Yeah, it's fine. You guys withdraw. Walk my cavalry up next to this unit of, ca of infantry. on the left, the enemy already vulnerable. Enemy flank has fallen. And you men charge on into the 54th. Slaughter them. There will be some enemy guns around here somewhere. Those infantry have been shattered. Well, the dragoons dismounted, so now we're just killing horses. Advance my cavalry up towards the rear. So then this infantry can clear the woods. New men push up. Might have cost us a gallant officer, but this is a excellent victory for the forces of Sweden. Up to it, militia. Being engaged from every possible direction. You men are clearing the woods, you men clear this woods. But I believe we are just on to the... Uh, I'm pretty sure there's enemy artillery over here somewhere. Because I'm sure they, the reinforcements had artillery. Maybe they didn't, but I thought they did. But either way, it looks like it's just this last 20th horse guard unit which is the only remaining troops they have. So you guys just attack some of these guys that are left. And all this cavalry collectively smash. I mean, everyone else, they're both exhausted, so they're going to get here in, in, in a bit. All right, the 20th Horse Guards smash their beans. That was a pretty epic battle. Yeah, Close-ish. Was it Was it more bloody than I'd like? For sure, but that's good. Carabin Jaeger Regiment. Lifeguard. Oh, obviously all my cavalry are up top. Light Infantry 364. Life Grand Air Regiment 349. I mean, they're, they're getting, you know, infantry unit sized kills or better. Peacefully occupy the city. 
Well then, Dragoon, congratulations. Ooh, let's get Godfried Isberg. Then we have this force to the south, so you men push up just to provide coverage of the gap and to provide support for the garrison at Lemberg. Mr. Lumberg, you push up to down to here, actually. Let's hope square off against Mr. Chernitsky, if that's required. You guys aren't getting involved. Either the Ottomans die, or they repel the Russians. Either way, I want the Russians to go through some attrition here. And then we're sieging here at Petersburg, so let's see how the Russians react to that. And my spy carries on. I am expecting they're going to minorly freak out. Oh, they're going to go after my lone ship. Fine. Don't really care. Not a lot you can really do. My carronade fleet are enough to hash your beans. These I should, I should stop saying that. But the garrison of St. Petersburg is going to sally and I am going to let them. But looking at the timer, it's definitely time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for the destruction of the St. Petersburg garrison. See you later everyone.